Hi, welcome to Midwest RV Center. My name is Big Ray Poston, and I'm here today to talk to you about our 2019 Montana Luxury Edition 3561 RL. That's a rear lounge. I uh, want to talk to you about the great features that are both outside and inside of this fifth wheel, and maybe uh, get you some more information, uh, talk to you about the great deals and great incentives that we have here at Midwest RV Center. So the first thing I want to mention is you've got an automotive quality front painted cap with two layers of clear coat on it right so the paint job on this is not going to fade it's not going to peel it's not going to crack like you've seen in older fifth wheels uh, this is part of what's covered under the three-year structural warranty from montana right so a really awesome paint job uh, it's really going to last a long time it's going to look sharp for you for for the foreseeable future right then we come around to the side, they use a uh, high gloss gel coat fiberglass sidewall, right? One of the big differences between Montana and the other stuff that's being built out there is that behind this fiberglass, Montana does a double layer of wood structure, right? With staggered seams. So and I got a 40 foot long about fifth wheel here, right? So, you know, nice long wall there going down the road, that thing could be flexing with staggered seams and dual layers of wood, it's gonna help this thing maintain its integrity. All right, come back here, we've got outside speakers, we've got the upgraded frameless windows, we've got a power awning, right, that has the new Dometic uh, power channels feature. So kind of think of this as like a track lighting system like people used to put in their home. I've got accessories, lights, fans, uh, radio, stuff like that. I can stick in here and twist and they automatically get power from the awning arm. So I can have, you know, like I said, a fan outside and have lights outside. Um, all those kind of accessories that just make it fun and cool to hang out in my patio area. Got the mega storage compartment. Got magnetic catches that hold the door open for us. So no little struts, and guys, I know that doesn't seem important, but when you're a tall guy like me, and I'm trying to load stuff in and out of here, you know, if my door's hanging down like this, I've got to crawl under to get at everything, right? This gets me a full opening, so now I can get in there really easy and get to my stuff. Um, outside here, we've got the uh, new key TV si system, so we've got satellite and cable TV coming out here if we want to put a TV. We've got the Intervac uh, whole house vacuum system power out here. You can see the uh, white furnace vent there. This whole area is staying heated, and we'll talk about that when we get inside the coach, what the zero degree or four seasons package from Montana really means for you. Slam latch doors, nice heavy doors. Everything in my basement is staying heated, right? If I've got my furnace on, I'm not freezing up my stuff out here, okay? Got the new more ride step above entry steps, right? So those are the solid steps where the feet actually touch the ground. Got the big, you know, extra long handle on here, the collapsible handle because of the more ride steps. It gives me an easier reach, right? Um, five, five slides on this model. Uh, two here, one for the kitchen and one for the living room on the door side of the coach. We've also got one on the uh, living room and one in the kitchen on the off door side of the coach. All Montanas are full walk on roofs, uh, something that people don't talk about a lot and it's a really key feature of what makes a Montana a Montana. Montana puts on their roof a vent on the front and the back, right, near both air conditioners. So in the summertime when it's humid and you're running those ACs, that condensation is going to build up inside that roof area. Right? Putting two vents, one at each end, allows airflow and allows that condensation to escape the roof area. Some manufacturers don't vent their roof at all. Other manufacturers will use a single roof vent and they'll put it in the middle of the, of the ceiling. That gets it too far away from the air conditioners. And when it's only one vent, there's no circulation of air. So they're putting it up there so they can have something to talk about in a catalog, but it's really not working for you like the dual venting in a Montana. got backup lights so LED brake lights we've got actual backup lights for backing up we are prepped for a backup camera so that camera is going to allow us comes with a wireless monitor it's Bluetooth connected I'm going to allow us to see what's going on backing up so I don't have to just rely on my <laughs> my significant other whoever that might be to say whoa stop 
I mean, I can't tell you guys how many divorces I think have happened because of somebody backing up a trailer. Right? Overflow gate for our fresh tank. Our convection microwave that's inside is vented to the outside, so we don't have a dirty air circulator. Right? This is pumping those cooking smells outside of the fifth wheel. We've got our awesome Montana Include Standard in, in every one of their units, a 12 gallon gas electric water heater, right? It's this thing, you, you're not running out of hot water when you've got this water heater. And then, also standard in the Montana is their awesome convenience center. So a few things I like to point out about this, because this to me is one of the things that is exceptional about a Montana. Every connection that I need is inside here, right? There's nothing else that I need to hook up other than my power supply that, that's in here, right? So I've got an outside shower. I've got a motion sensor light. So when I open the door, the light comes on. I've got my winterizing port. I've got my city water hookup. I've got a toilet tank flush. I've got the valves that allow me to winterize, fill my tank, flush my tank, everything all right there. My tank pulls, low point drains, battery disconnect, and all my cable and satellite hookups all in one convenient area. That's all enclosed, right? So we've got the little mouse port to run our hoses and cables through, right? And all kept in here at zero degrees for 72 hours that space never dropped below 45 degrees, right? So full four season livable camper, all right? Again, slam latch baggage door. And then another awesome feature of Montana, I've seen power leveling controllers put in all kinds of weird spots on the camper. Um, I've seen, uh, you know, Jayco is one brand. They put theirs like inside the actual cargo door where, uh, you're slamming that controller all the time. You know, every time you open and close that door, bang, 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 that controller's getting jostled around. I've seen it inside the storage compartment where your luggage can hit it. Montana builds you a separate compartment for your auto leveling system, your hydraulic slide controls, everything up here where it's not getting beat up by your luggage or beat up by the vibration of opening and closing a door. That's sensitive electronic equipment. It needs to be treated as such. All right. Around the front end here, we have the uh, Road Armor by Trail Air Kingpin. Uh, this is a Montana exclusive. Uh, so you've got the pivoting head that absorbs the bucking and chucking. You've got a heavy duty rubber elastomer dampener built in to absorb vibration, keeping your cap from getting shaken apart, right? Um, awesome, awesome kingpin makes towing your Montana much easier. When you combine that with the road armor suspension that Montana uses, you get a coat, uh, fifth wheel that is by far, and if you ask guys who deliver these things for a living, by far one of the best pulling fifth wheels on the market. So now that we're done walking around the outside, let's go check out the inside. Hey guys, Big Ray back with you. Now we're on the inside of the 3561 RL. I want to talk about some really awesome features. Um, you see stuff, you know, some of this stuff is going to be in a lot of fifth wheels that you see. Some of this stuff is kind of unique how Montana runs it and operates it. Uh, but we'll talk a little bit about that. So first, um, big Samsung 18 cubic foot fridge. It's got the twin cooling system, right? Residential refrigerator runs off the batteries through an inverter, right? Does have an ice maker in it, a nice deep freezer storage drawer, so it's a bottom freezer model. A high efficiency convection microwave from High Point, so this does baking, grilling, microwaving, all that stuff, right? We've got the Furion um, chef inspired cooktop, so much larger output burners. Uh, cast iron, uh, grill grates, um, a much, much better cooking service, much more like what you would use at home. And, and guys, that's one of the things that I think Montana does really, really well. Um, they won't use something in a fifth wheel unless it works like it works in your house, right? So that's why you don't generally see Montanas with 
you know, on-demand water heaters and, and stuff like that that just doesn't work really well because they want this experience to be as close to living in your home as possible. All right, so we got the large 22 inch oven with the glass door. Glass door's there so you can watch your food burn while you're cooking it. All you people that RV will know what I'm talking about. Um, this is a self-lighting oven. You don't have to get down and light the pilot with a match like you do in a traditional oven and burn your eyebrows off. All right. We've got pull-up power centers, right? So two 110 volt, two USB chargers right here. Uh, that just stores away, right, if you don't need it. Got a real tile backsplash, wine rack, um, all real wood fascia in a Montana, real wood doors, those are mortise and tenon, real wood, real hardwood fascia, not MDF board like you see in a lot of campers. It's one of the things that makes a Montana heavy. But it's also one of the things that makes a Montana last a long time. Full extension roller bearing glide uh, drawer guides, right? So every one of these pulls all the way out. They're real wood cabinets made with plywood. It's not OSB or particle board. Um, as we come into the living room, notice above, we've got this nice arched uh, structure here that kind of gives us a feeling of separation between the kitchen and the living room. It's one of the things I love about this floor plan. Um, do have the sunshade, the solar shade, right? And the nightshade both. Both of those are the soft retract, right? We've got uh, power on the recliners, so we're, they're power open and close. Uh, they also have a uh, light up cup holder for, you know, those people who just like cool blue lights, right? Another Montana thing. And a lot of these things, you know, to a lot of people, they, they seem really small until you kind of combine all of them together and get the experience of being in one of these. But everything in here has light switches, right? A lot of manufacturers have those cheapo little push button touch lights, you know, on the ceiling. So when I'm, at, when I'm in my house, I don't go around pushing individual light bulbs and turning them off, right? At home, I have light switches for my rooms. In Montana, I have light switches. Montana puts power outlets and their slide outs. Most manufacturers avoid that because it takes a long time to run those wires in rooms that move, right, and do it right. Um, big windows, I mean if you start over here and you go around, I mean tons and tons of big windows. Tons of storage, right, up high. Storage down low. Another unique feature of this 3561 is kind of this office or workspace center. So I've got a desk with a traditional desk chair, right? I've got a space down here where I can put my uh, my computer tower or whatever I'm using for you know for my for my workspace. You know, I've got basically a desk built into this slide out. Now my TV is also built into this. And I push this button. And then my TV comes out on the televator. And that's all, that's wired up, guys, to work as your computer monitor if you want. Uh, you got forward facing speakers off of this. So voila, now I have my big high definition TV. You know, like I said, that works as my computer monitor, um, all that stuff, so I can have. You know, big screen when I'm doing my work. I've got my uh, home entertainment system built in. Everything right here, right? When I'm traveling, I run the TV back down. Or if I've got a campsite that's got a nice view of the lake, something like that. When I'm not watching TV, I can drop that out of the way and have all that scenery. All right? Solid surface LG HiMac, count HiMac countertops. Uh, Montana uses a 70-30 split on their stainless steel deep well sink. And of course, pull down faucet. Uh, we get into our dining area. This table does extend a couple times. So first I have a leaf that pulls out. Secondly, the whole table pulls out. right? And then I've got my two chairs here. I've got two other folding chairs that come with this unit that are allowing me to sit four at the table. Right. Lift this up, put the leaf away, 
I've got a handle down here I pull, lets me slide the table away. One of the other features that Montana has on their new tables is they've got a built-in chair storage feature. There's a bar located under here, and when I push it down, you guys can see it here, I push it down, it holds the chairs in place while I'm traveling. So nice and easy, I don't have to strap chairs to anything or hook onto clips in the floor, any of that kind of stuff. It's just super easy to use. I've got another one of these pull-up outlets over here, right, with USBs and 110. I've got this nice new uh, centerpiece over the top of my table. It's backlit and has regular lighting, so, you know, the backlit's nice if you and the wife want to have a nice romantic dinner. Um, last thing here in the, the front of the kitchen, inside our step, we've got the central vacuum system with dust sweep. We've got a nice little coffee bar area, you know, give me some space to store my my coffee cups and stuff. I can put my bun or my Keurig right here. I've got a power outlet. And then another feature that I love is the awesome pantry space. Okay. And this is lit. There's a motion sensor light right there. You just saw it come on. Uh, so you stick your hand inside there, the lights come on automatically. Can't really tell in the daylight. But there's some over lighting above this cabinet that gives you some nice reflective light off the ceiling. And then we're up to the bathroom. So inside the bathroom, guys, we've got a one-piece molded fiberglass tub surround with a three-panel glass door. Again, residential feeling, right? For us guys that like to shave our legs, we've got the sit-down shower. Uh, we've got a full porcelain toilet. We've got a power vent fan in the ceiling in the bathroom to help get rid of those unwanted odors and that humidity. All right, we've got solid surface LG HiMac countertop with the sink. Real metal handles on our faucet. Um, again, you know, when you think Montana, you just need to think high quality and residential. All right, uh, out of the bathroom, going into the bedroom. In the bedroom, in this model, we have king bed, right? We have the full walk-in closet. Let me show you some of the features of this. So, sliding glass door with locking hooks, right? Lovely laundry storage right here to throw your dirty clothes. Uh, we've got some nice footwear shelves down here for you ladies that like your uh, purses and, and footwear. We've got power outlet in the storage closet. We're prepped for a washer dryer. There's one of your uh, kitchen chairs. So this unit will do a stackable washer dryer. You don't have to do the one piece machine that really doesn't do much for you. You can get the two separate units in here, right? Um, quiet, cool air conditioners in both the living room and the bedroom. So in a Montana, we get 30,000 BTUs of cooling, okay? whisper quiet so we're seriously knocking down the amount of noise that's inside this when we're watching tv visiting with friends uh, trying to sleep at night we don't have those really loud obnoxious noisy air conditioners that most manufacturers have we've got bet speakers for the radio in the bedroom speakers in the living room speakers outside right so we've got zone control over our music um, padded leather headboard uh, side shelves on the bed we've got the six drawer dresser all right again with full extension roller bearing uh, drawer glides we've got a framed in tv not just a, a little sticker on the wall that says install tv here right this already comes with the tv it's framed in it's at a nice angle so you can see it again little little finishes little little touches that make being in one of these so much more comfortable than a regular camper okay uh, we've got the sliding barn style door on the bedroom this is really nice we've got a six foot eight ceiling height in a montana with this sliding barn, barn door it gives you six foot five inches of clearance for your head so i'm tall i'm six foot four all right and when I walk out of this thing, my head does not hit the doorway, right? So, you know, for us taller guys, you know, a lot of times this door from the bedroom out into the hallway can be a real pain in the head. Mm -hmm. 
motion sensor light here on the stairwell so we're never walking up and down steps in the dark um, and then you know a lot of construction things we, we touched on a little bit but getting into again that that whole idea that Montana is quality okay we've got a 25 year warranty on our subfloor right got a three-year structural warranty um, We've got a 12-year roof warranty on this unit. All of these things uh, Montana has true experience with, right? These are these are things that they build better than the other guys. So, you know, they know that they, they can stand by this 25-year subfloor warranty. Um, zero degree living. I'm going to talk about that for a minute. Uh, in a Montana, zero degrees does not just mean that at zero degrees your RV will not freeze, okay? So at zero degrees after 72 hours in a Montana, they can keep the living room space at 72 degrees. They can keep the bedroom and the bathroom at 74 degrees. They can keep that outside storage space no lower than 45 degrees. So it's not just at zero degrees my stuff doesn't freeze. It's at zero degrees I can still be in this thing and be comfortable, right? Most manufacturers, zero degrees just means it didn't freeze, right? Uh, Montana uses real metal ducting in their floors. All right, it's a three inch by fourteen inch wide floor duct. It's just like the floor, just like the heat ducting in your home. Right? Again, it's like a house. They build it like a house. A lot of manufacturers use dryer vent hose, right? And they don't have a heat vent past the island in the back, so they're just pumping air from the island towards the back. At zero degrees, guys, that doesn't cut it, right? And they talk about how they don't have any holes cut in their floor. Well, they're using a cheaper flooring material, so if they cut holes in their floor, they're losing structural integrity. So they don't have real ducting in their floor, not because they choose not to, but because they can't, right? So these are the differences between a Montana and a lot of the Montana knockoff type stuff that you see out in the industry. So if you have any questions, please please feel free to give me a call. Again, Big Ray Poston. My phone number's been at the bottom of the video, but it's 815-509-0464, Midwest RV Center, St. Louis, Missouri. Thank you and have a great day.